So if you initiate the lateral raise by shrugging up, what's up? Kimi Kohayaka d e s a k i o a s i d e r a i s e wa m a r u i k a t a o t s u k u r e n a i k a c h u i s u b e k i f t a t s u no point. m i t e i k i m a s h o 前回は肩取り全般の注意点について見ていきました。今回はサイドレイズだけに焦点を置いて見ていきます。お話ししてくれるのはこちら、クリスチャンさんですね。サイドレイズをしてもなかなか三角筋に筋肉痛が来なかったり、僧帽筋ばっかり筋肉痛になったり、疲労感が出ることはありませんかクリスチャンさんは実際そういう人が多いっていうことを言っています。かなり具体的なやり方から使用重量まで細かく話をしてくれています。また動画の途中で筋肉英単語をピックアップして最後に解説をしていますどんな意味か考えながら見てみてくださいでは早速見ていきましょうどうぞ Oftentimes people ask me、uh, what is the most badly done exercise around. Of course, you can think of complex exercises like a deadlift, like a squat, like a power clean, like a snatch. Of course, these are more complex exercises, which of course make it more likely that people will have bad technique. But one of the most badly done exercises that is very simple on the surface is the dumbbell lateral raise. Uh, most people, the way they do it, they will get next to zero deltoid development because, after all, it should be an isolation exercise for that part of your body. But the way most people do it, it turns out to be either mostly a trap exercise or even, well, a movement that doesn't do anything. Now,、uh, in this capsule, I'm going to cover、uh, the two biggest mistakes people make when they do lateral raise, rendering the movement basically ineffective at what they're trying to accomplish. Now, the first mistake is, of course, using too much swing to get the weight up. Of course, this is out of ego, people using way too much weight for what they're capable of doing, using 45, 50 pound dumbbells. Where they can like shoulder press 150 pounds, which doesn't make any sense. The way they achieve that is by using lower body momentum to get the weight up, like this. So basically, you are creating momentum to lift the dumbbell from the, the bottom position to that position here, like using momentum. It goes up to here, bending the arms so they can use more weight, and oftentimes they even duck down to finish the movement. Basically, making sure that not a single muscle r e c e i v e any type of stimulation at all. Now, that's the first mistake, probably the most common one.、Uh, the second mistake is using the traps to initiate the movement. You have to remember one of the basic principles、uh, of muscle mechanics is the muscle that c r e a t e in which there's、uh, the first tension created. So, the first muscle that comes into contraction or high tension will be the muscle that will be used to do most of the work during the exercise. So, if you initiate the lateral raise by shrugging up, then it's the traps that will receive most of the stimulation. Then you decrease the stimulus on the delta, which is what you're trying to accomplish. Now, the reason why people make that mistake is that they're thinking of lifting the weight up instead of pushing the weight away, which is how you should be doing a lateral raise. If you're doing up, I'm, lift, I'm lifting up, I'm lifting up, then the traps are doing the work. If I'm pushing away, pushing away. Then the deltoid will do most of the work and it allows you to really get that peak contraction here. Whereas if I'm shrugging here, then my deltoid is under very little tension. So the two, two biggest mistakes to avoid if you want to really be able to target those deltoids is to avoid using momentum to get the weight up, letting your ego out of the door. Even when I bench pressed 445 and, and military pressed 275. The most weight I ever used for lateral raises were, was about 25, maybe 30 pound dumbbells for sets of six. Not that heavy, but I was really focusing on squeezing the right muscle, pushing away and getting that peak contraction. That's how you learn to build deltoids using lateral raises. Not ego, mind muscle connection. So, how was it? Did you get it? 僧帽筋使わないためのテクニック、考え方でしたね。わかりやすく伝わりましたか僕は同じことを伝える際に、いくつかイメージをお伝えしています。例えば、その人の
外側に手を置いてこの手に肘を当てに行くイメージでサイドレイズ動かしてもらったり腕を遠くに投げるようなイメージで動かしてもらうなどいろんなイメージの仕方をお伝えしていますイメージの持ち方は人によって入りやすいイメージが違ったりするのでこういった自分が分かりやすいイメージを探すことが大事ですねただ共通している動かし方のゴールっていうのはクリスチャンさんが言っていたように上に上げるサイドレイズではなくて体の外にできるだけ遠ざけるサイドレイズこれが動きのゴールになってきますこのイメージの違いだけでサイドレイズっていう種目の目標が変わってくるんじゃないでしょうかうまくいけばダーメロを持たずにこうやってやっているだけで三角筋の最大収縮が得られますなのでこれを見ながらでもある程度疲れるまではいかないけど三角筋が収縮する感覚をつかめると思いますぜひ今やってみてください筋肉英単語さあ今日は2つ出てきましたスクイーズとコントラクションこの2つですねどちらも意味は収縮となります特にスクイーズはトレーニング中の掛け声としてもよく出てくるので覚えておいてくださいみんなはサイドレイズを行うときどのようなイメージを持って行っていますかコメント欄で教えてください動画のリクエストチャンネル登録お待ちしてますではまたはいお知らせですこの度この筋肉翻訳 T シャツが販売することになりました今僕が着てるのは M サイズなんですが S サイズから L サイズまで用意してあるので概要欄に販売ページのリンクを貼ってあるのでそちらから購入していってくださいここまで見ていただいてありがとうございますこれからも様々な情報をお届けしていくのでよろしくお願いしますではまた Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I'm w o r r i e